Hello, and welcome to Sly Spy Secret Agent on the Commodore 64. And, uh, well, I remember I borrowed this off of friends back in the day. It came part, uh, as part of the um, Night Moves uh, Commodore 64 um, pack. Um, well, there's a press fire. Because uh, I played a cassette version, so uh, just to give you a... You know, uh, give you a, a sort of a realistic uh, uh, experience uh, the way uh, that uh, I experienced it back in the day. Um, what I'll do is, uh, I'll not be that cruel, I'll, I'll actually sp I'll hit warp in the emulator, speed up the loading a little bit. Uh, still waiting. Still waiting. Okay, stop the cassettes and press fire. Right, so, um, yeah, whatever, I'll be agents one, two, three. So, um, so it's a coin up conversion, and uh, I like the idea of the game. Uh, we play a sort of James Bond type spy, and lots of the um, scenes of the game definitely mirror. Um, Scenes from the Bond films, so if you're if you're a Bond fan, then uh, you probably um, get a bit more out of this game. Uh, uh, so remind you of, of uh, several scenes that you know you'll be familiar with. So this is also uh, inspired by uh, Moonraker, um, and uh, yeah, um, ooh, that's a bit glitchy there. Um, I mean it's. The graphics are pretty decent uh, on most of the levels. Uh, they're a bit basic here, but the, uh, the animation's alright. Ah, the level's over already. That was quick. There wasn't really much in the game there, uh, so, you know, obviously, uh, you know, oh, here we are, on the multi-load. So how long will this take to load in the next level? And this is really the problem I had with the game back in the day. Um, it's just uh, you spend way, way more time waiting for the game to load than you do actually playing the game. And now you, you can pl you can find a disc version, um, and it'll obviously be faster, especially if you turn True Drive emulation off. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, my point is, you know, there's just no need for it to have this. Hefty a multi load. I mean, you could easily fit several of the stages in memory in one go, but uh, it's just so intrusive with the multi load. It's just unbelievable. But uh, anyway, I'll, I'll maybe I'll review the game while I'm waiting for it to load in, in real time. Um, uh, you know, graphically, the, the game is pretty good. Uh, uh, lots of Nice backgrounds. Uh, uh, I mean, the sprites are a bit naff in places, but uh, the backgrounds are pretty good. Um, the music is, is great. Uh, uh, Jeff Folland, uh, Jeff Folland did um, I think all of, all of the music. I don't think Tim Folland did any music. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, the music's great. Uh, it really adds to the uh, the atmosphere. Um, uh, in terms of the gameplay, yeah, it's it's okay. I, I mean, it's quite a playable game, to be fair. But the um, yeah, the difficulty uh, levels all over the place. Uh, the first few levels are really easy, and uh, but uh, once you get to the last level, is really hard. Uh, so yeah, it, it's a bit yeah, it's a bit. Um, Bit erratic, really. Uh, um, yeah, and most of the levels are just too short. Uh, if they were longer, then you wouldn't mind waiting for it to load. But uh, you know, it's just uh, it's just ridiculous. I mean, this is taking a piss. No, I don't mind multi-loads if you know the the the. Uh, even if there's a loading tune or something, just to you know. Keep the interest up, you know. Uh, but uh, 
it's pretty dry here uh, and uh, you know, the actual gameplay just doesn't justify the loads. So yeah, I know that, that some games have long multi-loads as well, but uh, generally they, you do spend a bit of time playing the game. Well, I'll, I'll just, uh, this is the only level that uh, I'll demonstrate loading in real time. Uh, I'll speed up the other ones, but uh, just to give you an idea of where, where, where the frustration lies, I think. Uh, yeah, so uh, gameplay-wise, uh, yeah, it's uh, okay. I mean, it's, it's quite playable, but uh, uh, it's just a lot of levels up. Not only are they short, but they're they're just so easy that it's, it's just boring. Right, so, uh, I'm off. Yeah, you can see the sp enemy sprites aren't too hot in this level. Uh, but your sprite looks great. Uh, you know, the background graphics are brilliant. Uh, yes, that's the level over. All that loading just for that, that was taking a piss. Those first two levels could have been in memory at the same time, easily. But no, it's loading again, so let's speed up the loading, just so we can see a bit more of the game. Um, I've, I've hit warp in the emulator here. See how long this takes as well. Right, there we go. And we're off. So we're on a oil motorbike here. So there's certainly um, quite a bit of variety in levels. Uh, Again, the sprites aren't too hot, uh, a bit blocky. Uh. I'm just finding the ammunition like the. I mean, there's tons of ammunition to collect in the game, so you don't really have to worry too much about just spraying the screen with bullets. So. Oh, I haven't used a continue there. Oh, now we're on to the boss. He's pretty easy, just duck when he fires. Or, or, or don't duck when he fires, uh, like, like I did. Uh. Oh, I think he's destroyed. Well, that was the hardest level yet, but, uh, and the longest level as well. Uh, let's, uh, Speed up the uh, loading here. Yeah, it's just just unbelievably tedious multi load. Right, where are we? Ah, okay. This this level is where the game starts to get a bit more difficult. Uh, and to be fair, I mean, it's quite quite a reasonable difficulty level in this one. I think it's not too unfair. There's a zip plane here, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's. Oh, there we go. So, I mean, the actual gameplay itself, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it is perfectly playable. Uh.
You know, big boss graphics, okay. Oops, uh, I think I'm out of ammo, so it's come through time. And he's dead. Oh, Spirit loading. <sighs> ah, so it's underwater time. Uh, I think this what is this from. Um, I can't remember. Thunderbolt, maybe? Can't remember. Uh, I used to quite like uh, Bond uh, when I was younger, but uh, I haven't watched them in years now. I've never seen any uh, Daniel Craig ones. Uh, I've seen one, Pierce Brosnan. No, I'm not a big fan of Pierce Brosnan. Uh, he always looks like he's sort of constipated and he needs a shit. Uh, that's just his permanent facial expression. Um, yeah, Daniel Craig, uh, I quite like him as an actor, but uh, yeah, he doesn't convince me as Bond. But uh, maybe if I saw one of the films, I might change my mind. But uh, yeah. I think the problem with Bond is, that just as a concept, it's just, just of its time, you know. Uh, uh, and these days, it's just trying to fall off as some generic action film. Right, so um, that's Slyly Spy Secret Agent for you. Um, obviously the multi-load does completely ruin the game if you're playing it on cassette uh, like I did back in the day. Um, if you play it on disc, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, if you play it on disc, uh, I'll, I'll give it... Uh, I'll give it 7 out of 10. Uh, if you're playing a cassette, I'll uh, give it um, 5 out of 10. But, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I can't really rate it as a arcade conversion. I haven't played the arcade's uh, original. But, uh, yeah, worth a look. Uh, uh, and to be fair, uh, w what they should have did, uh, should have done, is uh, release this on cartridge uh, when the when the uh, cartridge thing took off again, or tried to take off in the early nineties on the sixty four. Um, this would have been a perfect uh, cartridge game, uh, definitely. Um, you know, but um, it was not to be. So um, yep. Uh, so that's uh, that's just the end of this review, and see you in the next one.